my formal education was a little bit rocky. Um, I was called into the um, principal's office when I was um, about 17 and, and was advised that school wasn't the place for me. Um, and, you know, he had a fair point, the principal, because my results were terrible. And I was actually only at school because I was the captain of the, um, the rugby team and I got to hang out with my mates. Um, but over time, um, my rugby coach actually got me um, to help coach the year seven um, kids. And I suddenly realised that school wasn't a drag anymore when I was in these sessions. I was actually, time was flying, you know, an hour would pass like 10 minutes, whereas in maths, 10 minutes felt like an hour. And that period of time was a real um, wake up call for me. So I went to uh, my teacher, Mr. Thompson, I said, hey, how do I get to do what you do? Because this is awesome. And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, well, for the first time, Dan, you got to work. And this was the point because I'd suddenly, you know, I'd not really, the only reason I'd gone to school was to hang out with my mates and play rugby, um, if I'm being honest. Sorry, Mum. Um, but, but, you know, it's um, the, 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 once you have that sense of meaning and purpose, things fall into place. And it was purely by chance that Mr. Thompson asked me to do that. And I don't think it should be left to chance. So that was my, that's my overriding favourite memory of school.